This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Allen and welcome to this super chilled out repop with me. I'm going to try and talk a little bit quieter just to see if the echo stops in the room. I don't think it's going to. I will work on that all the time. By the way, I will get something for the sound to stop it from doing this because I'm aware it's a little bit echoey. But anyway, we've got a couple of things to do today. I have some topics to discuss that I took from you guys on Instagram. I'm going to go through it. I have a couple of things to do today. One, this is going to surprise literally everybody. I have this begonia. I think, is it a Ginny Galaxy? I can't remember. You're probably going to go, oh, no, it's not. But it is actually variegated, guys. It is. It's more along the back of it here. I promise. See? Can you see? I, I promise. It doesn't want to focus on the fucking Ginny Galaxy, but I promise it is variegated. Not everywhere, but bits of it. I think I'll just... Oh, I, I don't know, maybe pop that up and see how we go. Was I wanting a pot for that? I think I was. Where did I put the pot for that? <gasps> is there a pot? Yeah, there is. Okay, there's a pot over there. That's fine. So I want to do that. And also we're going to, we will talk about him in a minute, but we're going to do something with this guy because I can't rehabilitate him in his current state. It's just gone out of hand. Third thing I'm going to do is if you saw my video on Tuesday a few days ago, so my last video, I'm going to just repot this little oblique and just put this little trellis behind him because it's so cute. Like, look how cute this is actually going to look. So that's what we're doing today. And we have some topics. This is going to be super chill, super cozy, grab a snack vibes. Okay. Now I've lit up the background. This actually looks fucking amazing, if I'm honest. I've lit it up because it's 6.21 p.m. in the UK, but by eight o'clock at night, it's going to be dark. So this is going to continuously get darker. So I will have to just keep checking how that looks over time. And if I have to adjust some settings, I will, but it's probably going to, it's not going to look as good by the time we're finished anyway. It's going to look very artificially lit, but what can you do? Also, I know you guys don't care. I know you guys don't care because you're so nice, but I look the way I do because I was out riding my horse today. I didn't anticipate filming today. I did mention that on Instagram. Um, so I'm looking off here to a monitor that I have. I'm not looking my best, but it is what it is, okay? And my horse came first. So without further ado, let's start. I think I might tackle this little dude first. Just seems like a good idea. I wish I had something to put that in and I don't. Hang on guys, hang on. Let me just see. I've got like a big ugly pot in my cabinet. Oh, let's not do that. Let's leave it shut. I probably put it, put the pond out of here. This is my pond in this one. Um, I'm going to take it out. I'll put it in there and we'll just have a little look at him. This probably won't take very long, this one, but he will look quite cute. At some point, I really need to clean these. It's, it's just not, it's not a vibe. And I also feel like my cats might start crying at me because we're an hour away from feeding time, guys. There is a glass door and they can see me through it and they are wondering why they can't come in. Can I tell you something? You will never offend a cat quicker than shutting a door on it. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's the truth. Right, questions. I wrote them down and I've grouped them together a little bit because someone gave me a really good suggestion I don't know if anyone suggested it before, basically to do chapters in my videos uh, of these repots so you know what I'm talking about and then you can skip it if you like. I don't know, guys, why I haven't done that before. I don't really have a reason, so we're going to do that. So if you want to have a look at the different chapters, obviously, you will find it below. So I have a blend of things to talk about. So I have some nurture system stuff. I have some plant chore stuff. I have some books. I'm going to talk about some books today, guys. Keep it cozy. Um, I have, I'm going to ask you for a plant recommendation and it may shock you a little bit about the podcast, the tiniest mention of Hoya, and we're going to talk today about houseplants and my opinions on sort of people losing interest and stuff like that. So that's what we're going to do. I will start with some of the nurture system ones because they're quite functional questions really. So the first one is can you buy the product in Canada? The answer is yes. There was an addendum to that where someone basically said, can you list all the websites where you can buy it, like in the EU and US and stuff? The answer is yes, I can. So on the Nurture System website, there should be, is it 
I think it's a section on the website that says like international retailers or something like that, or stockists. If you click on that, there should be basically links to loads of different shops. Now, there are more shops than what are on that page. I just haven't either got the images for the logos of the websites of them yet. And we've also had a, I think a bunch of people place orders with us. So waiting till they obviously get the product through, that's all fine. And then I can put them up. But there absolutely is a stockist in Canada. There may be two. I don't know if there's either one or two. US, there's a couple as well. And then we have a bunch of them in the EU. I think we have Poland, Denmark, Germany. Do we have Belgium? We have a few places in the EU, so that will be on there as well. Oh, obviously we have Netherlands and things like that. So anyway, that's just to get that out of the way because it's, it's a very easy thing to get out of the way, of course. I want to empty this out before I talk because honestly, it would be so good to deal with soil. Like it would be, it would be so great because it wouldn't be noisy and I wouldn't have to like break up me talking to you guys with substrate. It's really, really annoying. Right. So this is probably sat in a lovely little bit of nurture system, but we can keep it in the pot. Because obviously, if you did watch my video the other day, I watered everything. So although you did not see it, I watered this. Right, so this has got my pond in it. I'm just going to empty it out because I want to still use it. There's nothing wrong with this pot or anything. I just want to use it, but I want to make sure this is okay because... Little confession! Little confession, guys. The plants in moss. The plants in moss. Okay, so the reason is it was growing in moss in the um, terrarium thing at the shop. And when I potted it up to bring it here, I didn't want to overwhelm it. So I just kept it how it was really. So that is why it's like that. I'm not proposing to grow it in moss, although it's fine. It's just, I don't know. So what I did do, if anyone is curious, I... Because I was focusing on transitioning this from like a whole environment change, what I didn't want to do was, you know, fuck with the roots a little bit. So I left the roots as is. I kept the ball of moss. I lobbed it in here with a little bit of pond on the bottom, the moss, and then topped it up with pond to sort of keep the moss wet. I just left it. So then when I brought it here, I put it in a cabinet. It's acclimating. And how do I put this? It's just like one less thing that the plant has to deal with when it's acclimating. There's just like one thing that it doesn't have to deal with. So, you know, things happen, but it's a really good way of just doing it gradually, doing it gradually. You can totally do that because a lot of plants, when I've had things at the shop, I've done it the other way around and I've repotted it there and done a full repot and disturbed the roots and whatever else, but then I've left the plant there. So it's only dealing with one thing at once. So in that situation, it's dealing with the repot and the roots and you know the humidity and the lights everything that's the same this way around i changed no baby cat wants to be in so sad and i really can't right now it's a bit dangerous so the way i did it here was to deal with the light and the environment and the humidity but keep the roots the same so it's actually a really good tip if you're moving house or i don't know you're bringing a plant from somewhere else to somewhere else i don't know i don't know how many people that applies to because most people they buy plants or they get them shipped in, you know, they get them shipped in and you've got to deal with everything. But hey ho. I mean, if you're getting plants just shipped in, you know me guys, I always recommend water initially anyway. Just for the first, you know, 24, 48 hours. Hold on for one second. I want to talk to you about the sponsor of today's video, Squarespace. If you want to create a website quickly and easily, then Squarespace is the tool for the job. There's a huge selection of up-to-date templates that are fully customizable to your own branding. I've been using Squarespace for around three years now, and honestly, I'd never go anywhere else. Squarespace now features something called Blueprint, which guides you through an even more in-depth customization process, allowing you to very quickly personalize and launch your own website online. You can choose the sections that you want on each page, as well as any other suggested pages that Squarespace offers you. You can change all manner of colors and fonts to suit your style, as well as the conversational style that the AI uses. I know. If you want to create a really sleek looking website, either for yourself or perhaps you're setting up an online business like mine, check out squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, head to squarespace.com forward slash Kaylee Ellen to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. And back to the video the moss around the roots like i didn't actually need to do what i've just done but i wanted to see what was going on before i repot it 
So what I want to do is clear this out because I just think I'll definitely put some in the bottom there to give it a buffer. Hang on, where's the... Oh my God. Guys. There's no... How? Do... Fans of um, La Chusa may notice what is missing here. There's no... There's no rope. There's no string. It's not in here. So I've... But how is it done? Right, okay, I'm definitely going to put the moss in the bottom. Holy shit. How's... I have no idea how I've done that. I've obviously done something very quickly. And I've not checked to see anything. So, you know what? I am going to put moss in the bottom. Because I don't have that little bit of string, rope, whatever you call it. If you don't know, that little bit of string that sits in there is what wicks up the, the moisture. So... Right. Okay different. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just, my plan is, because I'm going to start talking about questions, I'm going to coat this back with the moss. I'm going to get my little cute little trellis and then I'm going to pop it in and then I'll put the, the pond, the gravelly bit on top. And whilst doing so, I will answer some questions, guys. Okay, so notice also I don't have my gloves on. I have some upstairs, but I forgot. So this is going to really get to me. Teddy, will you stop it, darling? He just saw jumping at the door, like at the door, not up the door, at the door. Anyway, someone asked me how long, basically if you're using your feed, so nurture system, say number one, the feed, how long is it until you see results? And honestly, personally, it can be two weeks. Two weeks, a month, 100%. Yes, of course, you'll see a difference. Two weeks, you might see a difference. Um, and that's going off my own usage. Personally, some plants, I see a difference, bloody hell, three days, and, I, and I'm not exaggerating. Now, that doesn't mean I'm seeing plants grow in three days. It can be something like a pale plant, usually is where you see... The results sooner. So something with like yellowing leaves or something like that. Specifically Anthurium do really well and sorry I feel like he's crying. He's gone but I'm sure he'll be back. Probably to charge at the door. Um, specifically Anthurium are very very good at it. So a lot of the times if you have something that's a bit paler maybe I mean does this look pale? Mm, it, he's just done well really but you have an Anthurium that looks pale and you pop it in some nurture system, and then like three, four days later, you can see that it's darker. Now, that might seem, how do I put this? That might seem over the top, but if you don't believe me, check my reviews, because I think someone, I can't remember who they were, I don't know if it was on Facebook, or it might be on the Amazon reviews, basically somebody put this on like a Anthurium forgetii, or something that was yellowing, it was an Anthurium, and they took a picture I, they, I shit you not, guys, they took a picture like the day before or something and then like a day after, maximum two days after, right? The difference was crazy. The leaf genuinely got a couple of shades darker. If you know where that review is, let me know. You don't have to link it to me, obviously. I don't think you can link in the comments, but let me know where it is because it's somewhere. It might be Facebook, you know. It might be on a Facebook group or something in the UK. I'm not really sure, but I remember it and I was like, hmm, yeah, fair, you know because it is pretty decent. Why have I planted that that way? In fact, no, I can plant that that way. So what I want to do here is I just want to put him in here. Uh, sorry, I have got grubby hands now, but if you want to see what this is, this is the cutest little moss pole, moss pole, trellis, sorry, by a brand called Trellif. And I don't know if they're still going. Now, the reason is I tried to link this but I can't view it because I'm in the UK because they don't ship here anymore. I think they did at one point, I'm not sure. So I can't link it to you. So I don't know if they're still existing or not because the shop's just like, oh, we don't sell to your country. So I'm like, cool, but do you exist? Can I link you? So I'm going to link down below the link that used to work for this and hopefully it does still work because they do this. They do larger ones as well, which I still have and I need to think of a use for it. But, and don't worry, I will think of a use for it, but I just haven't yet. 
So link will be down below for that. Um, what am I? What is happening here? I actually don't know where to put this, guys. Maybe he can. Hmm. Because maybe he should do like that. I just feel like he's gonna outgrow this really quick. Really quick. Hang on. I'm just. I'm not expecting him to live in this pot forever, but he might. You know, he might. We don't know. Because he's grown so... I can't explain it. His roots have really grown like vertically down. They don't move very much. So let me just put that there. Let's try this again. Try this again. I want to put him there. I will give him his front space. I want to just give him the space to be himself. Like that. Now, don't get me wrong, guys. I'm not really expecting this little medley here to do much. It is probably a little bit more visual, although I do suppose it stops him from toppling over. So you never know. You never know what it might do. But I'm not expecting it to do too much. So, yeah, so that was the question anyway. How long do you see results? It Honestly, it depends on the plant a little bit. And it depends on what the situation is. Repotting and stuff, personally, a week to maximum, absolutely like for a slow plant, you can see a leaf popping out or starting to pop or, or whatever. And again, you can just look at the reviews and to be honest, the reviews might give you a better indication of what, you know, than what I can. Um, but I, I have to say I'm really impressed with my reviews. And it's, it's weird, you know, because another question I had was, what made you create it? Did you expect it to blow up this fast? Um, I'll get into the, the blowing up bit because it's related kind of to what I'm saying. But what made me want to create it? I feel like, and you guys that were there can correct me if you disagree with me. Well, you can disagree with me. Can't correct me. Um, I feel like way back when, so 2020, 2021, even definitely prior to, but let's just cast our minds back that far because that was so... Um, poignant in everyone's lives. Most people remember at least that, right? So I always thought there wasn't there wasn't a ton of fertilizer options for like semi-hydro and soil. The fertilizer were out there at the time. A lot of it was more tailored towards just houseplants. Like it was miracle Grow, it was whatever. Oh shit, if my cat's done a poo, sorry guys. What are you doing? What are you doing? Look, you can come in, but you can't be jumping up. If you jump up, you go out. What have you done? Oh, you little shit. Right, so some of that's my fault. Yeah, you go in there. Oh, that's we. Hang on, I'm having a malfunction. I can't get to my sink. Oh my God. Give me a minute, guys. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hang on. I, we're absolutely having a meltdown here. This is why I wear gloves. I swear. I swear. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you... Oh, my God. How much piss? That's so much piss, Teddy. I don't even know where I was in that question. So what happened was, <laughs> I went out into the hallway. Teddy looked like he was gonna wee, so obviously. And it's my fault, because I've shut the door because I'm filming, right? Because I can't film at any other time of the day. Long story short, too much sun, can't film, right? I go to him, I look at him, I open the door. I'm like, you can come in and wee, but you go, if you you know make a ruckus, you're out. And he turned round, he looked at me. He turned round, popped the squat, and start pissing all of my junk mail. At least you got taste, boy. Now behave yourself. Behave yourself. Oh, honestly, sorry guys, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I promised you like, <laughs> cozy and chill. <laughs> you just got audio of me shouting at my cat for pissing. Right, never mind. You're gonna behave. You're gonna behave? Oh, what you did. Oh, what is it? What is going on? What is going on? Are you weighing on everything? Are you weighing on mommy's dreams? 
Are you pissing on my dreams? Hey, careful. Let me put you down properly. Come on. We don't do that in this house. You just asked to be down. I'll put you down. Right. Cat piss out the way, guys. Cat piss is out of the way. No, don't be set like that. I need to get you a little cat tree in here because you'll probably sit there. you probably sit there, won't you? Yes. Should I bring in a cat tree? Wait, I know this is... I know, I know. All right, let me bring in a cat tree. Come here then, BB. I know, guys. I promised you. Cozy. And... Honestly, I'd love to give it to you. I'd love to give it to you, but it's just so difficult. Right. You, you stay there. How about that? That's quite nice, isn't it? I don't want to put it too close because what he's going to do is he's going to try and jump. So come here. Come here, Dean. Come here, Dean. You're going to sit now. Come here. Sit down. Can't believe Mummy's doing this. <sighs> Can't be angry at him, it's my fault that he had a wee, really. Sit. We're not jumping anywhere. You sit down now. You sit down. No, Teddy, no. Right, you're going further back. It's so hard. I don't want him to jump on the table. I don't want him to jump towards the shelves. Right, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Right. What made me create do I expect it to blow up? Right, good reviews. What was I saying? <laughs> My mind is clouded with piss. It's clouded with piss. Really? After everything I've just done for you? After everything I've just done for you? You're taking the piss. Right. Anyway, what made me want to create it? That's where we were. So, back then, I didn't... I didn't feel like there was a lot of really good options for fertilizer, essentially. Now, I'm not saying there wasn't any. I'm just saying there were very few and far between. As I mentioned before, we had miracle Grow. We had, you know, shit like that. Not great, guys, not great. And the ones that were out there, I can only say certain things here, guys, for obvious reasons, but one of the competitor brands <laughs> I tried using. Why? Because in 2020, in 2021, everyone was like, this is the brand, this is what you use. And I used it, and I I couldn't, I couldn't get much out of it. I, I, that, that Honestly, you can... Totally, how do I put this? You can totally disregard what I'm saying because at the end of the day, I am selling a product and I am going to say it's better. Completely get that. You're entitled to think that. But there's only one way I can tell you how I developed this feed. And it was by using the competitors and obviously using other stuff as well. Um, and it just being a bit shit, right? Now, I haven't named the competitor. There's certainly heavy rumors about what the competitor is. I completely, I completely get that. I haven't named the competitor. Um, that same competitor, I tested my feed against. So when you see those, sorry, darling, when you see those um, comparison photographs on the Nurture System website, that is tested against the competitor. Um, so anyway, that's why I created it. I also thought. I want something that actually works. I don't just want the feed. It's a little bit like, okay, I follow I follow a few different people on YouTube, but say like skincare, right? I follow the Welsh twins, right? Robert and James Welsh. So James Welsh does skincare. And people have asked him a few times, right, why he doesn't release a skincare brand. And he always said, and it's really sort of stayed with me, there's, there's too many brands out. It needs to be worth it. It needs to be something different. I can't remember exactly what he said, but he basically said, look, no one needs another skincare brand. Personally, I thought people did need another fertilizer brand. I think that's a difference, I suppose, that I, that I sort of took from that. Um, but I didn't just want to bring out a feed and go, hey, it works. I wanted other shit in it. And funny enough, it was inspired, not just the branding, but the whole concept of the feed is heavily inspired from Olaplex. Um, those of you with long hair or, or short hair that you want to look after, I guess, anyone that's used Olaplex before, you kind of get it. It's also where the number system comes from. Like, let me just grab one. Teddy, why are you lying on the floor, baby, when uh, I put a thing up for you? You're literally lying on the floor just waiting to trip. So, for example, two, three, whatever, right? Where the hell is the front of these things? Yeah, we, we all know what these look like by now, if you don't. Link in description. But... It was inspired heavily by Olaplex. So that's kind of what made me go for it. I wanted to make sort of like Olaplex for plants. So that is why we have different things that do different things. For example, since I've held them up, number two, 
elevator pitch, like one sentence what it does, foliage a little bit, and flowering response. It's a biostimulant. This one is about roots and rehabilitation, shit like that. So if you think about it, if you're familiar with all the plugs, which I apologize if you're not, um, but it's the same sort of shit. So I wanted to make that, I wanted extra shit in there as much as I could get without diluting down a formula. And this is why I had a chemist, because I don't know what I'm doing. Um, we came up with a basic formula taken from a few of the things actually that works well for things like orchids. And we applied it to aroids. We did a bit of this, that, and the other. We added some CalMag and we did some stuff like that. I don't mean to a formula, by the way. I mean to a care routine. <laughs> like no one's out here really home brewing a fertilizer. We had a chemist for that. She's a wonderful chemist. Um, but anyway, I wanted to make something with basically just extra shit in. So it was worth it. I didn't just want a fertilizer that just does that. So it, that's why it does have other shit in. It's got B vitamins, it's got fulvic acid in. It's got a whole bunch of shit in it. Obviously added CalMag because, you know, Anthurium, shit like that, do like extra CalMag. And at the time, again, a lot of even the competitor feed, I don't think it was, it might be marketed, oh, you can use it on that, but I don't feel like it was built for it. Very, very different. Sorry, guys, I'm going to stop and start my timer because we're approaching 30 minutes. Probably not for you because I'll have edited loads of shit, but boom, seamless. That's basically why I created it. I thought there was a need for it. I didn't just want to bring out a fertilizer because honestly, I'm quite a needless person. I don't, I don't, oh, knock this plant over. I don't need to do shit like that. Do you know what I mean? I just, I thought it would be useful. I thought it was needed and... Judging by the response, not to blow my own trumpet, I think it was needed and it's had great effect. Now, if you want to know what people think of it, because I know it's making its way around the world now and you can buy it, not buy it, completely up to you. You can buy different things that aren't feed. If you're happy with your feed, that's fine. My feed will sort of, sorry, my products will go with anything. Where's my owl pot? Um, the best place to find out what people think, I mean, Amazon, if you can get onto Amazon UK, I guess word of mouth, asking a group, I don't know. Um, but generally speaking, I, I haven't really found a bad review of it. Um, so that's really, really good. And I feed my plants either, well, with this, I do it every single watering. So because, how do I put this? Because the feed is formulated for semi-hydro, it's, it's formulated in such a way where it's okay for the plant to be sat in a reservoir of this shit, right? Which is probably why when y'all are feeding and feeding and feeding, if you're doing every watering or whatever, because personally I do, unless I'm being lazy, then I do every watering. That's probably why you're finding that there's no negative effects of the fertilizer, there's no burning, there's no whatever else, because it's been carefully formulated to sit in that manner. So it's very good at sitting in self-watering reservoirs and stuff like that. So anyway, I'm rambling. I, obviously I love my feed. I'm not trying to plug it by the way, I'm genuinely just answer a question, but we're gonna move on from the feed, I think. Yeah, very quickly, did you expect it to blow up so fast? No. Um, in a way, has it blown up fast? I mean, um, kind of has. I guess what has happened is word of mouth has carried this. Because I can sit here and say everything I've just said on a video as much as possible and be like, yeah, you should buy it, blah, blah, blah. It, it doesn't mean shit, guys. It doesn't mean shit because at the end of the day, I'm selling you a product. What does mean something is what people think of it and if it works and if it's any good. So I've not really marketed it as much. I've sort of just let it organically sort of grow itself a little bit based on people's actual feedback. So when you're hearing things, it's organic feedback, which I really, really like. So in some senses, I would say it's taken off a little bit slower, but it's taken off really organically. And I'm very happy with that because I know the people that have tried it really love it and they're saying they won't switch and everything else. That's awesome. Um, I would rather that, I think. But yeah, it's done really well. I'm so proud of it. And it's everything looks great. Oblique, guys, 50% humidity. Bosh, look at it. Yes, all right, it's got a couple of tips on it. That's where it's moved from the unit, I think. But hey, new leaf, looking great. Right there, new leaf. Sorry, it does not want to focus on anything but my face. But anyway, so that's all of Nurture Systems chat done. I have uh, chaptered that for you, so you can skip it if you're not interested, which is totally fine. So first thing we've done is this little guy. And he looks very cute, doesn't he? I mean, he looks a bit stupid, I won't lie but it should stop him actually growing backwards. 
I almost hope he doesn't latch on because that might be a bit annoying. So he's just, he's genuinely, guys, he's just sat in front of it. There's no magic there at all. But he's kind of cute. I think that's kind of sweet. So yeah, I will leave the link for that down below. If it doesn't work, I really apologise, but the company is Trellief. So hopefully it does work. Right. Ooh. Oh, you can see a bit of a blinker. That's really cute. Um, we have two different plants now. Where are you? Why are you still on the floor, baby? Why don't you come up here? You want to come up here so people can see you? Come on. Come on. Come on then. Come on. Come on. Come on, his friend in. Come on. Come on, pissy. Come on. Give him time. Come on. You want to come up? Come here. Oh, there you go. Where do you want to be? Your brother can come sit as well. There you go. You look nice. Oh, can you see this? Sort of, yeah. They just, oh, they love it. They love it. I love you. Yes, you make a mess in my house. You make a big mess. You make a big mess. You do. You we everywhere. By the way, if anyone that's going to ask me, he is actually neutered, 100%. It's a problem he's had since he was born and it's not worn off. He just occasionally pees. But he only pees in one place in the house, guys. If he's not peeing in his litter tray, um, I've had many litter trays, by the way, that didn't work. He just likes peeing on the doormat, but the doormat is a coir fibre doormat and I think he just loves it. And also, that is sort of where smells come like in and out of the house. So it's where all the new smells are. So I think it's something to do with that. His brother, fine. His brother, golden child. This is Teddy, by the way. This is known as the stupid one. Um, and Billy is down in the corner. And his ears are pricked up because I mentioned his name. You look so beautiful. You look so pretty. You can kiss your bum. Anyway. So, <laughs> let's just have a little drink. The next thing I want to do before we move on to some other chat that is not Nurture System is, oh, this guy, this guy, guys. So look at him, here he is. This is him. This is, oh my God, what is it called? Anthurium Fairchild. And I kept trying to rehab it at the shop and I did a good job, but in it's, in just in the hot summer or whatever else, it's got neglected again. It's sort of gone south a bit. It's okay, it's not dying, but I'm noticing a lot of the roots up top look quite shit. So I'm pretty sure, I can't remember if I put number three, uh, nurture system number three in it a while ago. I think I did. So we've got good roots out at the bottom. I hope you can see this, but really shitty ones at the top, which I will show you this a little bit more up close when we get it out in a second. So my main goal, guys, I, I'll show you it in a minute, but I've got one of my standard l hole self-watering situations offside. Offside. And, and we're just going to pop it in. Now, my pawn, my pawn, I have pawn here that is mine, right? I have a little bit left in a baggie up there from the other day. But a lot of it's in my shed. And there is a ton of stuff in front of my shed and I can't get into my shed. All I've been able to find is regular pawn, I not my pawn. So I'm probably going to put this in the regular pawn and then I will switch it out at some point because this is definitely going to benefit from a coarser pawn. Not ideal. This worries me slightly, by the way. This worries me slightly. I'll probably still use some of the lacquer just to, to help it get some aeration. I'll just put it in with that pawn. I've even got more lacquer in there as well, actually. I could use that. So we will see. Oh, baby boy. So I'm so thirsty. I'm so thirsty. I barely drank anything today. I realize also the pace of this video is a little bit slower. It's not like, right, what we doing, what we doing, what we doing. I'm just trying to keep it chill. So this might be a little bit longer in length, but it is designed to be more of like a hangout situation. I feel like my other repots in the shop are, I wouldn't say they're super purposeful. That would be a lie, but they are, I just think they're a little bit more, not quick fire. I don't know. You know what I mean? This is just way more chaos. There's no cat there. What happened? <laughs> okay, they're having some bickies. They'll be very upset with me because it's wet food time and we're filming. So anyway, let's crack on for their sakes. So I'm going to take this out. Oh, there's a little bit extra there. Hang on. Sorry, you can't see what I'm doing. There's just a little bit extra of my pawn. So I'm going to leave it in the top like that. Right. 
First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this out and we're just gonna have a little look and see what's going on because my theory is the bottom roots, all right, top roots, so let's just see. Let me just tip this out and then we will get a different subject. Oh no. Let me pick that up in case the cat tries to chew on it. Hang on, guys. Ooh. You can't have that, babes. It's not safe for you. Right, he will try and jump up here at some point, and I hope he doesn't. Guys, I can't get it out. That's not a good start. I mean, it could be a good start because it means it's got some root, but. Fuck. So, one minute while I pick up all the liquor that just went on the floor for the cat's sake because I don't want to upset them. Hey, babies. No, mommy needs all of these back. Yeah, mommy does. Oh, shit, mommy can't get to the other ones. Oh, fuck, don't eat them. Please don't eat them. Good Lord. Well, let's hope they don't care. I can't get to them. There's only a couple. Right. Ugh, I hate shit on my hands. Anyway, right, so, you know what? This is done all right, this is done all right. Can you see this? Let me just, I'm trying to get, I might just have to put it down like this. So you're not really gonna see the foliage. I mean, the foliage is beat up, but let me just try and get some of this off. I realized, by the way, there's not a lot in the frame at the bottom, completely get that. I'm struggling to film in this kitchen. And I think one of the reasons is the surface of the bench is a lot lower than I am. So my head's here and the surface is here and I can't really sort of get that gap down. I don't have any chairs. Yeah, no, you heard me right, I have no chairs. Chairs that you could sit on anyway, like table chairs type thing, dining chairs, that's, that's the word. What are you doing? Um, but anyway, this, you know what? What a great advert for number three. I'm pretty sure I had this in number three at the unit because it was just, it was worrisome. And I, I probably have had this on camera at some point, maybe in the last, oh, surely three months. I don't know. I'm not sure, guys. You'd have to go back and have a look, but I promise you I'm not lying to you. I have put sh some shit on this at some given point in time. I don't think it's had any on since I've moved it here, but it's only been here two weeks. That, that's fucking awesome. I, here's me thinking it sucks. It doesn't. Now I'm gonna try and delve into this a little bit just because the root ball is actually really solid and I would love it if it wasn't because I'd like to spread it out a little bit more. So I'm very gently gonna try and pick through it and hopefully not hurt it, essentially. So another question. Right, speaking of which, plant chores. Someone asked me, how do you keep them manageable? Ugh. Well, I think one of the things that helps is, I mean this, I don't know how, hi babies. I know this might look super planty, but there actually isn't a ton of plants in this room, right? Backstory, in this house will not exclude upstairs because something you haven't seen yet upstairs. I basically have a room full of plants on shelves. Very weird. So we have stuff in here that you will have seen if you've seen my plant tour. And then we have one tiny shelf above my TV next door in the living room where there's like three plants. Okay. So they're all basically here. And I have, I will try and count them for you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Approximately 30 plants. I personally don't think that is a ton. You can correct me if you think it is a ton. I don't think it is, guys. Um, maybe actually not. <laughs> you know, maybe actually that is a lot of plants. See, now I don't know. Um, anyway, but a lot of the things I think I do well is I know my weaknesses. A lot of the times, it's so funny because when I had all the time in the world, way back when, when I started caring for plants, my weakness was overwatering. It's gone the opposite just due to busyness, which is why you should always sort of check in with yourself when you have plants because you might have, for example, a watering style, a care style, but life changes will change all that. And I don't just mean, 
you know, like depression or illness or something like that. I literally mean like getting a new job, something else happening in your day. Like that's made a huge difference. I'm now kind of an underwater. If there's something gonna happen that's bad, I probably underwater it. I never would have said that to you five years ago. But anyway, a big help I've had from that is undoubtedly self-watering pots because you can't really underwater, but you can, you've got to go some, and you're not really going to overwater either. So that's really helped. Um, I guess a good spray pesticide helps plant care and keeping it manageable. Just keep on it with pests here and there. Spray them a little bit, you know, every so often. Don't wait for them to get pests. So say spider mites, maybe using like neem, dish soap, whatever it is you're using. Don't wait for them to get spider mites. Just occasionally just give them a little spritz. Um, the, the, the key for me, honestly, is having less plants but larger plants and trying to manage that rather than having tons of little plants because I think a plant can be small, but it's still, you know, how, how do I put this? It's a bit like a Pokemon card. It's still got like points for care, right? It doesn't matter what the size of the plant is. you still got to care for it. So really for me, it's kind of literally about the number of plants. So to do, and I, there will be a video on this next week, but to get the look that I've got, that's so weird, that looks like it's uh, yellowing. It's not yellowing, it's the light. That petiole is fine. To get the look I've got, I have less plants. Come on, for a plant YouTuber, there's not a lot of plants there. Okay, give me that. I have less plants, but they're very bushy and they're very big. And I think that's how I've got around making it look really planty, but it still breathes, there's still space. It feels chill, I don't feel overwhelmed looking at it. I feel excited. Um, there's, there's gaps of white where the walls are. It's not completely dense. I just like it. I really like it. But I think self-watering pots, honestly, are the cornerstone of my plant care. I would die without them. Honestly, there's some bits in that cabinet and they're in moss. Some of them are gifts, you know, whatever have you. And I'm terrified of them. I'm terrified of them. Why? Because there's no self-watering pot, guys. And I might kill them. I might kill them. So very, very scary shit. I have to say, it's very, very scary shit. Guys, I... I thought there would be bad times ahead for this plant. Sorry, I'm probably hitting my microphone. But, I mean, I've snapped that, fair enough. But I've snapped it, like, now. It's so dense. Oh, we lost some, we've lost a bit of root here and there. That's me trying to separate it, so I'm not going to do that anymore because this plant is very important. Would you call it rare, um, Anthurium Fairchild? I, I probably would. It's, oh, I didn't even show you how it looks. It's, this could look better, okay? I'm probably even gonna cut some leaves off. Um, do you have spideys? Please don't have spideys, because I've already treated everything. No, I think you're just sad. He's just sad, he's fine, he's just sad. But anyway, so I'll put that down. Sorry, there's no nice way to deal with this plant. So we'll just leave him like that while I just separate some roots out because I'm probably gonna pick out this lecker. So yeah, keeping plant care manageable, it's not the answer you wanna hear, I know it's not, but just don't have too many plants, guys. <laughs> if you want jungle vibes, go for less plants that are larger. You don't have to have a million small ones. Um, but honestly, I think everyone goes through that phase. I feel like having a plant collection is a bit of like a, a bit like a life cycle in a way, like you, you get a couple of plants and then you get more plants and then you just buy any type of plant, not really knowing what you're doing. And then maybe you find a YouTuber or you just, you know, you start following stuff on Instagram and you get really into one type of thing, like say it is Aroids, for example, or it's Hoya or whatever. And you realize you've mainly collected Begonia or something, you're like, ah, oh, shit. You know, and you, you declutter, you get rid of stuff and you start again. Like that is a very normal, process, I think, for plant collectors. I don't, I don't know if anybody talks about that. Personally, I think it's a very, very normal process to go through. Um, I mean, that kind of happened to me. I had loads of different things. I had like Maranta and Calathea. Bear in mind, I still love them. Sorry if you hear a cat, he's just scratching. No, because you're going to weigh in that too, probably. Sorry, guys, I'm just moving my camera bag because I do not trust this boy. I just have zero trust for him. Zero trust. Right. What was I saying? Yeah, I feel like that's a normal process to, to kind of go through. So, because I put my bag on the, um, the hob. So, what's my point? Yeah, just if you get to a point where you want to refine your collection, that's going to be very therapeutic for you. 
You don't have to, but I find that it helps. Right. But yes, in, in a nutshell, it's self-watering plant pots, guys, and not too many plants. It's, it's not the answer you want, but it's the answer you probably need. We knew. Right. Next thing I need to do is get another subject and then get this pot. Like so. Dooby doo. What else have we got? Um. Ooh, okay. Okay, okay. So someone asked me, why am I going on like that's like a mm, question, it's not at all. Someone asked me if I've read any good books lately and you know what, you know what? I would love to read so much more than what I currently do. How dark is it in the background? That's really depressing. I would love to read so much more than what I currently do, right? I don't have the time. I would love to have more time and I will probably work on having more time like next year. Um, the last time I read, honestly, was probably last year when I was on holiday in Egypt. If anyone even remotely remembers that, I don't know. Um, and normally I, I get to read a lot when I go on holiday. That is my time to read. So on like a two week holiday, I will put away seven books. I will read seven books on a two week holiday. Like I will sit in the shade under a parasol and I will read. That is my time, that is my time. So I plan to do that this year because my girlfriend surprised me with a holiday that takes place early October. So not even that long. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some reading and I need to get some books to read. I have a paperback copy that I want to take with me. I'm very funny about taking paperbacks on holiday in the sun because obviously it ruins them and I have a lot of respect for my books. Uh, but I always like to take one paperback and after that I'll be taking stuff on Kindle. But let me tell you about what I read last year. And I know it's a year out of date, but it doesn't matter. So normally when I go on holiday, my style of book, it's not the style of book I always want to read. But for some reason, when I'm on holiday and there's sun and there's a pool and I hear the water splashing and, and everything else, I have to read about domestic thrillers, guys. <laughs> I have to read about some woman that's met some perfect man that wants to kill her, right? Maybe, yeah, maybe that might change now. I don't know. If you know any gay versions of that for us lesbians, then let me know. That could be really quite funny. Like a little twist on all the stuff I used to read before I came out. But anyway, so I'd normally read that. But the last holiday, I was looking for stuff to read, essentially. I do that before every holiday, like a month before. I get right into book you know, book talk, bloody booktube, all of that. And I start watching like books with Emily Fox, I think it is. I watch a few different people um, and I get recommendations. I love thriller generally and I love horror. And last year I was looking for some recommendations and I don't know how I found it, but I found an author. Now, honestly, just sort of bear with me because this is not for everyone, right? This is not for everyone. I don't know if it's classed as, is it classed as splatterpunk? Is that the name for it? I don't know. But anyway, the author is called Aaron Beauregard. Kind of sounds a bit French, if that's how you pronounce it. And he did the best book ever. What was it called? Playground. Tell me if you've read it, guys. Tell me if you've read it, guys. Um, it's a really, really cool book. I won't spoil it for you, but it's a bit like if you took the kids from It, right? Stephen King's It, like the movies, the actors, whatever, and you stuck them into... So that's kind of what the book is like. There are other bits, for those that you've read it, that I will not mention. And it was very interesting, guys, mini story time. So I started reading this book before holiday because I was going with my parents, you know, flights, whatever. I thought, I'm on the plane. I'm not tired, I'm excited for holiday. What can I do? What can I do to kick back and relax, right? So I thought I'll read a little bit of this book. I read a little bit of Playground by Aaron Beauregard. And I got to like page 40 and I was sat in the aisle, right? I was sat in the aisle and I wish I wasn't, I wish I wasn't because I was having to read this book. I shit you not. People that have read the book around about page 40, you know what I am talking about. I cannot say this on camera for love and money. I literally never can. I can never tell you. You have to just read it yourself or you have to look it up, okay? Damn. Anyway. I read it like this. I read it like this on the plane, guys, because I couldn't bear the thought of someone looking at what I was reading. Now, I do not, 
I am not comparing this to like, you know, like when everyone started reading Fifty Shades on the bus or on the train or whatever, and everyone's like, oh, no, 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 no. This was different. I even gave it to my mum to read, going, hey, if you don't read this book, just read to like page 45 and then check in with me. And I did that and she did that and she was like, oh shit. I was like, yes, okay. But if you get past that um, without vomiting, then, Bibby, what are you doing? Biv, Mammy's trying to talk about disgusting things. If you can get past that without vomiting, the rest of the book is very, very good. <laughs> but anyway, this author, really, really good. And I think I tweeted about it last year because I, I loved it so much. I tweeted the author about it. Um, and I bought a few more of his books since. I, I was on holiday and I went on like a book binge of other things he wrote because I just thought, hey, I've never really had personally an author that's willing to kind of go there a little bit. So I read a few of his other things. One of them was called The Slob. That's, not everyone can read that. I'm straight up, guys, do not like, don't just take book recommendations from me here. This is like, I would make a terrible book YouTuber. Do not, do not just go and read it. You need to look at the content. You need to look at the trigger warnings. You need to do that. That is, yeah, no, like, don't just take blind recommendation. Playground's not as bad. Um, it's a bit more normal. But The Slob, no. Um, Son of the Slob I read as well. I read, I read a couple of his short stuff. He's made a few anthology books. Like, I really got into him, which is really weird because it's the first time on holiday, guys, where I've read something that wasn't just straight-up domestic thriller. So I had a good time with that. Sorry, I know I'm not potting, but this needs to be... We're being cosy, right? We're being chill. We're hanging out, we're hanging out. So on this, hopefully Friday night when you're watching this, see, I told you it's gonna get real dark in here. But let me just get up my Goodreads and I will tell you some of the things I want to read. And I will put them up on the screen so you're not gonna be bored by this. I will have already given you some visuals of Playground if you want to look it up for yourself. Sorry, I'm just making sure my cats aren't doing anything weird. Uh, where are we at? 25 minutes on that. We've gone a long time. This is gonna be like an hour and a half, but hey, just for once, I'm gonna put it out longer. And if you hate it, be super honest in the comments, guys. Just be super honest about it. Personally, I'm having a lot of fun hanging out. I'm having a lot of fun hanging out. So anyway, Goodreads. Goodreads.com. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, super quick look at red. I'll flash them up on the screen. We've got the slob, son of the slob, uh, the cock, playground. Then after that, it's other stuff that I have read. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm just looking through it. Oh my God, oh my God, that was such a good book. Oh, okay. So some good books that I've read, but again, not recently. Pines by Blake Crouch. Oh, guys, if you actually want me to do book videos, um, I, I'm sure I'll find a channel for it, right? If you really want to hear about the books I read, but they're a bit different, okay? Pines by Blake Crouch. Literally incredible, absolutely incredible. I don't know why it's got 3.94, that's ridiculous. Uh, what else have I got? A lot of them, you know, I just, I read them, but they didn't vibe anyway. Uh, I, re I read the whole Pines series, by the way. Um, there's a lot of stuff about like weird nannies and stuff. No idea why. Darker Shade of Magic, Behind Closed Doors, Pilo Family Circus. I never read it. I don't know why it's saying... No, I did read... Oh my god, no, I did read it. Why am I saying I never read that? Pilo Family Circus. Pilo, Pilo. That was really weird as well. That was... It's... If you like Aaron Beauregard, you, you might vibe, I don't know. That was really weird, guys. Kind of low-key loved that. I think I tried, I can't remember if I read the second one, I tried to read the second one. Um, and I can't remember what I thought of it, but The Pile of Family Circus by Will Elliott, incredible. I loved it. I actually loved it. It was very Halloween themed. I don't know what the hell was going on. I was on holiday in like March or something, but never mind. But anyway, that's my read. My want to read this is what's on my want to read. And I have, guys, I've not updated this in, holy shit, months, months and months. So I own this book and I started reading it and I didn't make it through because I got really busy. Page Boy by Elliot Page. I have that, it's upstairs. Um, Seven Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. I have been desperate to read that. One of the reasons I have not read that is because it's on paperback that I have a really chunky one and the, I think you need like the maps and the plans of the house and stuff to kind of read along and do whatever. So I know it needs to be on book form when I read it. So that's, it's kind of a shelved a little bit. Um, some Aaron Beauregard stuff, so funny. 
Oh my god, loads of them are on there. Pen Pal, I've written by D Dathan, Darthan Auerbach. Um, I've heard all the stories anyway. I think I just probably just wanted to read it anyway. I'll probably never read that because I've heard all the stories. If you haven't listened to the Pen Pal series and you're a fan of horror, well in there. Darlan, can you stop that? Thank you. I'm just trying to have a look. There's so many Halloween-y things, but then again, I do like horror, so... Uh, the House Across the Lake by Riley Saga, Sager. What else have I got? How to Sell a Haunted House by Grady Hendrix. Lock Every Door by Riley Saga, Saga. Home Before Dark by Riley Saga, or Saga. That's something I want to read. After that, they just get a bit... They get a bit out of date, to be honest, so I do need to find some new ones. Um, I never finished Nosferatu by Joel Hill. Joel Hill is Stephen King's son. Um, I quite like him personally. Nosferatu, a uh, bit of a pill to swallow, I won't lie. But that's quite interesting. Yay, we love it when it cuts off and we don't realise. The number one book I want to read of all time, right, where if you told me I could only read one book for the rest of my life, I had one chance to read a book, what would it be? It would be House of Leaves. It would be House of Leaves by Mark Z. Dan Daniels. How do you say the names? Honestly, me not saying plant names really propagates to authors. But House of Leaves, I started reading it. And again, I, I have House of Leaves as a book and it is like a college textbook. I shit you not, guys, it's this thick. It's this thick. So you really need to have the book. Again, another reason why it hasn't been read. It's also quite a a taxing read, like you've got to turn the book around, things are written from different perspectives, you kind of got to be a bit more switched on, like it's not a chilled read, you really, you need to wake up, have your coffee and have a reading day, if you know what I mean. Um, but those are some of the things I want to read. Sorry, that's, you're going to wish you never asked me about books, but I am into my books, guys, I just can't, I just don't have the fucking time, honestly. What, this is so dark, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I don't think I can make it brighter because I think it's going to flash. Should we try? Teddy, what's that like? Um, yeah? Is it flashing? I don't think it is flashing. I think it seems fine. Teddy, can you get out of my camera bag? His head is in my camera bag. Hey, Ted, stop it. Anyway, right, we're gonna pop this. You, honestly, you're gonna wish you never asked. If you've got any good recommendations for me to read, that's great. Um, I can't remember what Aaron's new book is. It's upstairs, it's literally upstairs. And I've waited to use it on holiday. Um, as soon as I knew I was going on holiday, because I didn't know I was going. Obviously it was a surprise. But anyway, let me, let me, let me. I'm just gonna pop this in here. It's a tiny bit of um, lacquer. Oh, it's not nice. Again, tiny bit of lacquer I'm putting in because it's Antherum. And it would do well to have some lecker in there. I'm very sad that I don't have my pond. I'd rather not mix that pond with this pond though, because then I can't really unmix it. I do have some left in a bag, but it's, it's not worth it. It's just not worth it. This looks so bad, I'm so sorry, guys. Does it look any better if I... Some of them will flash. I know it. I know it, I know it. Mm, does that look okay? Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. I don't know. We're just gonna have to roll with it. I, I honestly, I realize this is not, I mean, some people probably think it is cozy, I don't know. Anyway, sorry, rambling. Right, next question, we're gonna move on for books. If you want a more booky report and I'll tell you about some of the, the books or whatever, then ask me for one and I will, I'll do it. I'll make it an extra video so not everyone has to listen to it. Um, but if you want that, leave a comment and I'll totally do it. 100% I'll do it. We'll pot up something or separate some seedlings and I'll tell you about some books. So, because those obviously aren't the only books I've read in my entire life. So anyway, thank God there are chapters on this video. Next one. Oh, very quickly. Um, in fact, no, I'll leave it because we're nearly on to Begonia in a minute. Uh, never mind, ignore me. Uh, yes. The podcast. The podcast, guys. Um... They have said, the people, the people have asked, um, would you have guests? Where is it? What are the subjects? So let me just put this in here. This is going to look awful. Oh, hang on, I need some more pawn in here. As gross as this is, I am just gonna have to pour this in. So, oh God. Come on. Oh no. 
I need like a scooper. Oh, I've got a scooper. Oh no. No. I hate it when I get shit in that watering vent, I swear to God, but never mind. So, yes, podcast, where? The podcast is going to be, I'm going to take over, guys, my old second channel, right? If you don't know, I will leave the name on the screen. I will link it in the description if you want to go find it. Um, it won't look anything like a podcast channel at the minute because the podcast is not up yet. I haven't filmed it yet. I'm supposed to be filming it tomorrow night, but we'll see. Um, and that's where it's going to be. So I'm hijacking that channel because I don't use it. It's a bit silly not to use it. I should probably use it. So I'm going to use that. The channel name, the channel name, the podcast name is the same as the channel name, which is Kaylee Ellen Unfiltered. That is the name of the podcast I'm currently going with. If the podcast becomes something where it is, like it's got a vibe, it's got, you know, a subject that we continuously just go down so it becomes more about one thing, then I will probably change the name of the podcast. That's absolutely fine. Um, until then, we're just going to leave it at that because I can um and ah about a name for a podcast and then never do a bloody podcast. So that's what we're doing. This, oh, wow, I see the problem with this. There's so much root. Oh my God. Here's me thinking that this pot was actually going to be too big for this. It ain't, by the way. It really ain't. So, um, subject matter. Uh, basically, it's not about plants, right? It's not about plants, guys. If you're going in there for the podcast, it's not about plants. I will say that one more time because there will be someone that does. It is not about plants. It is about anything but plants. There is going to be a cat on its way and it's going to annoy me. So it can be about, you know, episodes on different things. It can be about mental health. It can be about LGB, LG, LGBTQ. Um, it can be about basically me being gay and other things. It can be about a little bit about business here and there. It can be a lot about relationships, friendships, just kind of anything goes, but that's kind of the arena that I'm sort of thinking about, if that makes sense. Um, that's the vibe so far. Oh my God, I'm gonna kill this plant. That is definitely the vibe so far. Um, there are a couple of episodes I've already planned. I think the first one of which might be essentially me coming out at 34. That may, don't quote me on it, but it may be the first episode that you get. When it is out, I will tell you, I will tell you. Um, I will tell you on Instagram and I will also tell you if you subscribe to that channel. So if you're super intent on listening to this podcast, go and subscribe to that channel um, and you will obviously know when the video comes out before I even tell you. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what it's going to be about. I just felt compelled to do it, really. Um, it, it's kind of a style of video whereby, well, it's like a podcast, isn't it? I go away, I think about a topic, I give it a plan, not a script, but a plan, bullet points to follow so I don't ramble, case in point, this video. Um, we get through some topics, it's really chatty, it's really conversational, but it's really chill. At the end, I'll probably take in like a Q&A, which I certainly have done for the coming out one. Um, I know a bunch of you have asked me some stuff on Instagram already. Stuff like that, essentially. Um, what are you? What are you? So that's basically that. That's what that is going to be. So it's on the second channel. It's about, you know, gay stuff, queer stuff, relationships, friendships, business, mental health, blah, 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 all of that. All the fun stuff, guys. The stuff that makes life life, essentially. Um, the addendum to that, someone asked, will you, how bad does this look? I'm sorry. Wow. Wow, we need to make it grow up somehow. The addendum to that was somebody basically saying, I really need a steak. That's not what they were saying. They were saying, would you have any guests on? And the simple answer is, yes, I would love to have guests on, guys. Oh my God, sorry. I would love to have guests on. Um, the only hitch is obviously they'd be coming to my house. So I would have to trust them enough with that. Um, so it's probably not just going to be anybody, but then it wouldn't just be anybody anyway, I suppose. So yeah, I could do. Um, people have to want to come on. I guess there has to be a need for it. Maybe either someone asks me to come on or you guys want me to have someone on. I'm, that can be arranged or whatever. I don't know how easy it is for people to get to me and all, all of that good stuff. Um, but yeah, I, I really, 
I do see that happening. Um, loads of you have asked my girlfriend to be on it. Um, there's some episode plans in there. I won't lie. There's some episode plans in there already. Um, but that's up to her if she actually wants to do it. I can't, like, I can't make her be on camera. Um, it's, and it's nothing to do with not supporting me. It's just, you know, do you want to get up on camera? Not many people do. And I completely get that. So if she wants to, there is some options there. I'm sorry, this has to move. This is so ugly. Look at it. Oh my God, it's so ugly. It's so ugly. Um, but I can't do anything with it because I need to feed it. Oh, I'm scared of putting it here. I'm scared of putting it here. Right, we've got one more plant, guys. Mm. One of my cats is giving me absolute stink eye because I haven't fed them yet. They have had food, by the way. They've just had biscuits, but they're very... They don't want their biscuits. And because I've locked eyes with him, he's walking around the bench. Hi, Bibi. UK, you wonder why I'm talking to nobody? Oh, I know. You want to go up here? Whee! There you go. Why are you still up here? You can be angry at me from up there. Anyway, uh, what was I saying? So that's it for the podcast, basically. As soon as there is an episode up, guys, I will tell you on Instagram, but also if you go and subscribe, then you will know. But it won't be long, um, since people are probably thinking, yeah, but when? Um... Within two weeks, it would be great to have it within one week. It would be great to have it like right now. It's not impossible. Trust me, it's not impossible. Um, so you could, you could go and check because I will have already submitted this video for a sponsor. So I can't just add it in, if you know what I mean. Um, you can check by all means, go and click and check. Um, but yeah, so that's the plan for it anyway. So, but please do not go thinking, oh, it's plants. I came here for plants, blah, blah, blah. It's not about plants. This is the channel for plants. That's why the podcast is not on this channel, by the way, because it's not about plants. And I don't wanna, I don't wanna annoy people that came for plants to have things that aren't plants. And I want a, a nice space to talk about it and have a bit of freedom to move with it, if you know what I mean. I want it to shape itself and become its own thing. So I, I really want that. So that's why that is the way it is. Right, this one. Oh, I'm gonna get real lazy with this one, so. This is ridiculous, this. I, I've got to say, this is ridiculous. So, on that, really quickly, I will switch to the thing I was going to mention before. So, this is a begonia. <laughs> I want to try, guys, a begonia. I know you're thinking, well, there's one there. Yes, there is. So, I also have uh, this one. Oh, that landed right on it. This one here as well. Um, I really fancy a dark, sexy begonia. Now, I need to pick one. I don't want it to be too expensive. Um, in case I kill it, you know, just something really affordable. Um, but I would like an angel wing variety. So something like this, but dark, moody, sexy goth, all of that. Um, I think I saw one of Wild Fern's stories the other day and she had a really sexy one and I actually messaged her. I was like, oh my God, what is that? It's tasty. And she told me what it was, um, but I can't find it. I can't find it. It was... It's like Fanny something. I only remember because I had Fanny in it, but it's something. Oh, hi, baby. Um, but yeah, I want to try a darker one. I just, I don't know why. Just, I need to just go with it while I feel that I want to do it. And then we'll see. But I really want to try a dark one. So if you know of a good one, let me know. But I do want Angel Wing. Um, not too much polka dotting. Like the ones I like are very, very dark and have very minimal dots. Kind of dig that vibe. Um, so I'd like to try that. Right, guys, on the subject of this, wow, okay. All I want to do, see this? I don't even know if I can, you know. I don't even know if I can. I just wanted to put it essentially into this just to make sure it self waters, but I'm not actually gonna stress with this. This is all grown into moss, by the way. I don't know if you can tell. I know it's it looks terrible. I know it's been nearly killed about 10 times um, and it's always been in moss, but all I want to do genuinely is to just put it in here. So that's not my pond, which means I can tip it out into there, like so. Love that for me, love that for me. So I'm literally just gonna wedge it in. I'm gonna wedge it in. I might take a little bit of pond, hang on, just to put it in the bottom. Just to, you know, bridge the gap, bridge the gap. Oh, hopefully that's not too much because that will annoy me. There we go. Right. 
I want to just pop it in. I know that's like seems super lazy, but I don't know what I'm doing with it yet. This is so sort of wrapped around and these roots are so delicate. I mean, there's a tiny bit of rot, but it's not insane. It's just, I don't want to screw with it until I know what I want to do because I'm probably going to propagate from it. So as long as the moss is kept thriving, I don't see the problem. So I'm going to try, being that it is moss, I can just sort of squish it, but I'm just concerned that it's too tall. I know, it's the laziest report you've ever seen. I know that, I know that. I, I do know that. Um, so yeah, so that's the begonia I'm looking for. That is the end of that. What else? Uh, we'll leave Hoya, just no one cares. Basically just have you gone off them. Um, no, I haven't, but due to the way my floors are in this house, I didn't want to bring them because I didn't want to ruin the floor. I'd heard about other people um, ruining their floors from the pollen from Hoya, so I have not brought them, guys. They're still at the shop. Uh, my dad has a ton of them, though, because they love Hoya up there uh, where they live, so he's actually taken quite a few of them. Oh, that's so cute. So they live on with my father, basically. Right, I'm going to put a tiny bit of pond on the top of that because there is actually faith, which is really good. I don't know if this is good or bad, but it's what we're doing, guys. So, um, last thing to talk about is... It won't be a long one, don't get me wrong. It'll be plants and people losing interest. People losing interest. So, I think there's no denying, guys, that... Are we still recording? Yes, we are. There's no denying that it's the whole hobby's like... It's just changed, hasn't it? Oh, you didn't tell me that I'd knock some new begonia off. It's not very good, is it? New. No. Um, the hobby's changed a little bit from who's, you know, showing up kind of thing. But in a lot of senses, I feel like people are comparing the hobby still to 2020. And it's just not realistic to do that, to be honest. Although I, what I will say is that I still feel like it's, it's more, it's less enthusiastic than what it was when I started in 2019. But then again, then again, guys, you know, I was in a sphere where I'm showing people new rare shit and it does get to the point where y'all have seen the shit, you know, and what can I show you? There'll always be something I can show you, don't get me wrong, but it's just that that has a, a lifespan, I suppose, whereby after that, oh my God, I keep, sorry guys, I keep genuinely ruining this begonia as I'm potting it. I'm not used to growth being this low down. I'm used to aroids where you can just go at it. So I've just snapped off like seven leaves. Sorry. It'll be getting all cut back anyway. So I think in that respect, it's, it's different, but we are measuring it sometimes against something that you can't being that it was in 2020. But yeah, so... There's less enthusiasm, I think that's just because people are seeing the stuff. People can get the stuff. Like, you can remember back then, obviously, I don't know, it could be anything. Philodendron Florida Ghost, just take that one plant. They were hard to get, guys. They were really hard to get. Not everyone even knew about them. I put them on camera in, like, 2019, and people hadn't fucking seen them before. And that's just that's just how it was, do you know what I mean? Um, now, obviously, nearly everyone knows. It just I know that's one plant, but it's kind of an example, right? So... These things, this is just a fact of life. It's just, oh my God, that's so cute. Things change, you know? Um, and I think that's some of it. I think the, in terms of rare plants, because you can get most things, plants don't give people like the same buzz that they did in terms of like, oh, can I find it? Can I get it? Oh my God, I managed to get it. It's in stock now. It's sold out. Whatever. All that buzz because of TC and everything is gone. It's just gone. It's... It's only ever going to come back when the growers in Thailand get sick of what they're doing. I say Thailand, but, you know, Indonesia everywhere. And inevitably, guys, they will get sick of doing that. Do you know why? Because it's like a, a supply and demand life cycle, right? It, and it's happened to, like, some notable plants. Like, literally. Basically, you know, you have a new plant come along, no one cares. No one cares. It, people might not have it, but no one cares. Someone comes along, for whatever reason, plant comes, really popular, right? Say your favourite YouTuber talked about it, I don't know. It's like a thing that no one knew about. Now, you know, everyone's looking for it, everyone wants it, blah, 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 blah. And no one can produce it quick enough. So then, you know, the suppliers get on it, try and make it, propagate it, buy it in, whatever, whatever, whatever. And then it keeps selling out, keeps selling out, keeps selling out. So they supply more and more and more and more and more. Eventually, it gets to the point where the people that bought stuff saturated now and the people trying to sell to them 
are trying to sell plants to people that have already got the plants. And now I'm extrapolating to every plant. And that is literally right now pretty much the situation we're in. I think it's why the like the Anthurium hybrid and all that sort of shit took off because TC can't really touch that. This is, you know, it's like manual hybridization. You can get special one-offs and that's where people that like the rare stuff have kind of like found their kick, if that makes sense. That's where people are getting their new, you know, getting their rocks off from because they can't get it the way that they used to. So I'm not saying that's just why they're doing it, but you get my point. The buzz is coming from that now. Um, the buzz can't really come from getting a little TC plant. I'm, I'm not saying people don't buy them. I'm not saying people don't love them. I'm not saying don't buy them. I'm just saying that's what that's what the tea kind of is. And I know that myself included and a lot of shops have felt the, sorry, I really want a steak for that. The ramifications of that, I'm literally going to look for a steak now. They felt the ramifications of that. And, you know, a lot of shops are closing down and stuff like that. The suppliers think they've got it good. Well, they don't, I, I, I know they're panicking personally. But it will happen to them too because everything's going to get bought up. Everyone's going to have everything because, you know, what Thailand aren't doing, you know, other countries like Netherlands or whatever, they are doing. So there will always be somebody that can supply something quickly because of TC now, right? So unfortunately, the suppliers at the top, we shall say, have this all to come to themselves. So it's hitting like the the... The bottom line, the you know, the front line people first, i.e. the the plant shops. But that will propagate back up and it will get to a point where it hits the suppliers. And it is already hitting them, but obviously they're gonna be the last ones to really feel the effects. And eventually they'll stop. So what's gonna happen is eventually, this is what I'm alluding to, eventually the plant community will come back around, things will get oh, is that snapped? Mm, sorry, hang on. Mm, no, but yeah. Things will get um, interesting and sexy or whatever again and desirable. And there will be eventually a buzz, but it's a long time coming because these things have to, they have to stop being produced first in order to start that cycle again where no one's really got it. So we are kind of at that point in the timeline now where most people have most things and they're, they're starting to stop buying. So eventually what will happen is the, the people in Thailand, obviously, or I say Thailand, again, it's interchangeable for Indonesia, for anywhere. Um, they will stop buying it up and stop buying it up, sorry, stop making it and, and selling it or whatever. And that's, it's just all going to sort of stop. It's going to dry up. And then because there's no interest at all and tissue culture is not even making much money, say like they are tissue culturing for it goes or something and no one's really buying it. They'll just stop running that line of plants. So they'll stop running for I can't speak Florida ghost. Then they'll stop something else and something else and something else. This has happened before. Um, case in point, ace of spades, guys. I've mentioned this before. And theory of ace of spades. A few years ago, obviously COVID, it was stupid for a plant. I've only ever had one in my lifetime and I sold it. Big mistake. But a couple of years before that, so like 2017, 2018, you could buy them for like five pound a pop TC, but no one would. So they stopped running them because no one would buy them. That is exactly what needs to happen here. But obviously it needs to happen with a lot of plants. Sorry guys, I'm still frantically looking for something to attach something to. You know, it's got to happen with a lot of plants and it's, it's going to take time. And then it, you know, people have to not have the ones they have because eventually they will, you know, if you, change up your collections or whatever they have to not have what they have collect as this is and get rid of them move on whatever so that then in a few years you know the one person just happens to have it and everyone's like what is this blah 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 people are like oh my god i remember them years ago blah, blah, blah. and then it starts again but that's kind of what it's going to take so yes there is absolutely enthusiasm and, and stuff like that waning for plants personally i think it's the natural the natural oh, darling the natural course of action and the, i don't personally think that there's anything that can be done about it i think this is the cycle i think it's the cycle we're in so 
I've got a lot to say on the subject, as you might imagine, having a shop, and now is not quite the time to say that, but it will be soon anyway. I'll be talking about stuff like this soon. Um, but it, it is what it is. In a nutshell, it, it is what it is. There's been a big downturn. TC is pretty much responsible, I would say, to be honest, for everyone feeling this way and whatever. You know, I don't even want to say people got too greedy. I think anyone in, you know, the supplier situation probably would have done that. They probably would have done that, you know. They found a way to manufacture plants really cheap and fast and whatever. Holy shit, you're going to do it. You're going to do it. You've got families to feed. Completely get it. I, like, I'm not mad at anybody, even though obviously I've felt the brunt of it. Um, but it's just one of them. It's just one of them. It's one of those things. So I want to show you this because you know what? It, it's, it's, it looks a bit gnarly, but now that I've just put that tiny little bit around it, it actually looks quite cute. I hope it grows nicely. When I was talking to you, I stopped and I gasped because, oh, you can barely see it. There's a leaf. It's coming off this particular little part of it, but it's very variegated. So I need to be propagating some of this because it's got very nice variegation. As I say, it is mainly, you will not see it on this camera. I will show this to you like in another video. Um, it's mainly around here because all of this is not variegated at all. But I'm gonna keep them and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna see. I'll feed these off camera because honestly I think I've kept you long enough. Like this was this was long, guys. Um I need to put this away. I need to feed the cats because they are mooching. Do you wanna come and see what he's doing? Just mooching, bless them. They're hungry, they know. Um so I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna put these plants back. I need to feed two out of three, yes. Or is it feeding that one? Oh no, it's feeding that one. One out of three I need to feed. Um, I might just water because those roots are fine and I'm, I can't be bothered. It's like, I don't know what time it is. It's like seven o'clock. Is it seven o'clock? Oh, it's 20 to eight. Yeah, we're going to go. So anyway, guys, this was long. Uh, I've chapped it. Thank heavens. You're probably thinking, thank heavens. I've chapped it. I wanted it to be more of a hangout. I wanted it to be chill. And let me know what you think of that. Personally, I've always liked to keep repots sort of longer and a bit more uncut. That's just my style. Um, plus, I, now that we're in the house, I kind of feel like I want it to be a bit more like we're hanging out, if you know what I mean. Like, it really feels different. So, uh, thanks for that. Uh, if you like this video, please leave a like down below. Uh, anything I've mentioned? Uh, I don't know. The the moss pole, the podcast, stuff like that. That's all in the description. Um, and I guess I'll see you in the next video. I believe you're getting an extra video Tuesday because it was supposed to be today's video. But, long story. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go feed my cats. I will love you and leave you. So there's a cat on the bench. Baby, get out the sink. Oh my God. Okay. I'm going to go. Bye-bye.